This video that you're watching now is going to absolutely change the way you think about mushrooms. They are way cooler, weirder, bigger, and crazier than you currently think. And let's start with the fact that the largest living organism known to mankind is actually the honey fungus. The record breaker was identified in Blue Mountain, Oregon, USA, and it spreads across 2.4 miles. See, the thing is that mushrooms are sort of like icebergs that dwell on Earth's surface. The fruiting body that we all see while walking in the woodland is only typically about 5% of the entire organism. Below your feet is a complex network of mycelium, and this inhabits more than 80% of the entire Earth's surface. Basically, the mushrooms have taken over, and this is their domain that we humans call home. In fact, it didn't always used to be this way. Before our world was covered in trees like we know today, it was actually blanketed by giant mushrooms. These species towered up to 7 meters high, and were up to 0.9 meters wide. Scientists found ancient fossils of these gigantic structures, and they were able to determine that they were in fact fungi. But oddly enough, genetically speaking, mushrooms are closer to humans than plants. You have more in common with a shiitake than you do a stinging nettle. And unlike plants that take in carbon dioxide to excrete oxygen as part of the photosynthesis process, mushrooms breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. The actual mushroom, the fruiting flower, is the reproductive structure of the larger structure as a whole. Another weird link between us humans and the fungi world is that mushrooms contain a pro-vitamin which is converted into vitamin D when exposed to the sun. It's just another similarity with us humans as our skin can make the same vitamin in the same way. Mushrooms are really cool and they're weird little things, but they also can be deadly. There are over 50,000 species of mushroom out there that we know about today, and likely many more waiting to be discovered in the more remote areas of our planet. Of the mushrooms that we know about, approximately 50% are inedible but harmless, 20% can make you sick, and 1% of the mushrooms might in fact kill you. Just 4% are considered to be edible and tasty, and a further 20% are edible but fairly flavorless. There are 75 species of mushroom that actually glow in the dark. This is caused by a chemical reaction known as bioluminescence. These proved to be a photographer's dream when they put on a show across the forest or jungle floors at night. It's kind of like nature's little rave, but one which takes place in silence. Mushrooms aren't just weird and cool. They're also apparently made of some strong stuff, quite literally. The hardest natural material in nature is sporopollenin, which is the same thing that the mushroom spores are made of. And if that wasn't weird or wild enough, mushrooms can withstand the vacuum of space. It begs the question, if fungi spores have the ability to travel around the universe on pieces of rock, and then by chance inhabit a planet somewhere down the line, could this be how mushrooms arrived on our planet in the first place? It should also be noted that living mushroom spores have been found and collected in every level of Earth's atmosphere. Things get even weirder when we bring the late Terence McKenna into the mix. Terence was an intellectual who spent many years researching mushrooms, part of which involved ingesting psychedelic mushrooms that offered him a glimpse into different viewpoints of reality. He was a huge proponent of the psilocybin panspermia theory, and that states that magic mushrooms may be a highly intelligent species that came to Earth as spores migrating through space. He considered these psychedelic mushrooms to be a fungal species that are now trying to build a symbiotic relationship with the human race. McKenna also argued that each spore is an artifact of an alien intelligence, with each mushroom being engineered as a vessel of alien information. Hence the kind of philosophical insights one can get during a mushroom trip. To him, trips were not an illusion or hallucination, rather they gave him information and knowledge about the fabric of our reality that is not available to humans naturally speaking. Yes, Terence had some unique ideas that's for sure, but psychedelic mushrooms are actively being studied right now for medical purposes back here on terra firma. The research is being conducted by the John Hopkins University, and they're trying to treat depression, addiction, and many other psychological problems with psychedelic mushrooms. 
It's thought that these fungi can help to open up new pathways in the brain, neurologically speaking, so that new breakthroughs in therapy can take place. Oh, one last weird fact about mushrooms that's pretty random, and that is scientists have discovered that mushroom crops more than double in size if they're exposed to lightning. If you want to learn more weird and wonderful facts about this planet we call home, just click a video on screen. And until next time, peace.